This is the number one American Express credit card. Yeah, yeah, it's the black card, we know. Nope, that's not it. Fine, uh, the platinum. Next. Nope, it's not that one either. Okay, then for the everyday person, it's the American Express Gold. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about the number one American Express card. And it's not the Centurion, and it's not the Platinum, but for the everyday person, it is the American Express Gold. I'm gonna give you my honest review of having the card for a number of years. In addition, I'm gonna explain to you why I think it's number one, and we're gonna go through some use cases of how you actually get the most value out of those American Express membership reward points. However, if you don't have time, here's the TLDR. If you buy groceries, jump on this card. If you eat out, jump on this card. If you travel and eat food, jump on the card. That's it, moving on. For everyone else though, pop a squat, boop, on that thumb icon and we're gonna dive right in. First order of business though, when talking about the gold, the platinum, and the Centurion is the fact that they are actually kind of similar in that they are all considered charge cards. The difference between a charge card and a credit card is that with a charge card, you charge it every month, you pay in full every month. Whereas with a credit card, you can hold a balance, you have a credit limit, and if you don't pay off the balance every single month, you will accrue interest. However, remember, on this channel, in order to do the things that we do and play the game that we play, we must pay on time and in full. So to us, Charge card, credit card, doesn't really matter because we are paying in full every single month. The other thing people cite all the time about the American Express black card or the platinum is the fact that, oh, there is no limit. You could spend as much money as you want. Yes, technically you can. Same with the gold because of the fact that they are charge cards, meaning you have to pay back at the end of the month. So yes, you're spending, but Amex has already verified whether or not you have the cash to pay it off. You're just using the credit card in that case as a conduit to maybe earn some points, some protections, but that's about it. It's not as if there's unlimited money because you still need to have the money. So the American Express Gold. First, we'll talk about that sign-up bonus, then the earnings, then benefits, where we're really gonna get into a use case of those points, and then finally, the annual fee. Of course, I'll wrap it up with my verdict and reasoning of why I think this is the best American Express credit card. Well, technically, charge card. Well, technically, just American Express card. <laughs> First off, the sign-up bonus. This card will give you anywhere from 60 to 75,000 points after you spend $4,000 in the first six months. That's pretty solid having such a long time period. However, some folks might still have some trouble hitting that bonus. No worries, there's some ways you can get creative with it. So when I first got started in the world of credit cards in 2016, hitting these two, three, four, five thousand 5,000 sign-up bonuses, it was kind of difficult. But one of the things that worked well for me is whenever I would go out in a group setting, I would just be the one to offer to pay for everything and then I would just Venmo charge everyone back. Nobody had an issue with it because largely most of my friends weren't into credit cards and they're like, sure, <laughs> you handle the billing. Well, by doing that, I was able to hit a lot of sign-up bonuses. Nishin, do you have big purchases coming up? or can you pay some of your tax bill with your card? Now keep in mind, if you pay your taxes with a credit card, there's a 1.85% fee, but that fee might be worth it for a 60 to 75,000 point sign up bonus. Next up, we have earnings. And this card absolutely shines in categories that involve ingesting food. You will earn four points for every single dollar that you spend at restaurants. You will also earn four points for every single dollar you spend at groceries, up to $25,000 to spend per year. You will earn three points for every single dollar you spend booking flights either direct with an airline or through Amex Travel, and you will earn one point per dollar spent everywhere else. Now the points earning here for food is industry leading. Yes, there are technically some cashback cards that are going to earn more in terms of cashback, but they don't earn points. But points is really where you're going to get the most bang for your buck in terms of return on your spend. Compare this card to the Platinum or even the Centurion card, those cards are just not that great earning. They earn 5X for airfare, either direct with airline or Amex travel, but 1X everywhere else. I mean, if you're just not booking flights with those cards, it's not really all that worth it for the everyday person. Next up, we'll move on to the benefits section. So this card will give you a good number of credits. The first credit it will give you is a $120 dining credit that you can use as $10 per month. You can use those for the vendors listed here, but the ones I would call out would be Grubhub, or Shake Shack. The next credit that you're gonna get is a $120 credit to either Uber or Uber Eats, which is similar to the dining credit split out at $10 per month over the course of the year. So just in those credits alone, you have $240 of what I would call eating credits. And as I think about it, everybody eats right? Comparing this to the Centurion, comparing this to the Platinum, those cards are going to have more bells and whistles in terms of credits, but those credits I almost think of as the Sunday coupon book. It comes in and maybe there's some value there, maybe there's a coupon I use, but largely it's just throwing dollars and cents at me hoping something sticks. Whereas I eat food, I use Uber Eats, I use Grubhub, and so it's a lot easier for a lot more people to actually take advantage of these credits versus the amount of effort you need to put in to extract value 
from the credits from those other two cards. So another benefit of the American Express Gold or any card that earns points is the fact that these points can be transferred to travel partners. Now you always hear me talk about the benefit and you always hear high level examples, but let's get into the nitty gritty of how we can book a luxurious flight to the Maldives in business class using one of American Express's transfer partners, British Airways. All right, so we'll go into BritishAirways.com, go ahead to book and book a flight with Avios. Here I was just doing some bookings earlier, but we're gonna switch this to Boston. And then the two location is gonna be the Maldives, MLE. Departing, sure. The further in advance you can book folks, the better it's always gonna be for you. Make sure you select business and let's go ahead and click get flights. Do we want to stop over? No, we're good. We want to get there ASAP. And right here, you're going to see all the different availabilities. Now, it's pretty interesting that there's a first class cabin because it's a 777 going to Doha. But what we're looking for is this, a business class flight. And there you have it, folks. Boston to the Maldives for 85,000 avios and $207. And to really put that into perspective, if you were to book cash for this ticket, you would pay over $5,000. But by using transfer partners, you're paying 200 bucks and 85,000 points. And oftentimes with British Airways and American Express membership reward points, there's always transfer bonuses. I believe the last cycle was a 30% bonus. Assuming we had transferred on the last cycle, 70,000 points, times 1.3, 91,000 British Airways avios, that would easily cover this flight, and there you have it. Instead of paying five grand, you're paying 200 bucks and 85,000 points. And to transfer the points is very straightforward. Log into your American Express website, go over to redeem and go down to transfer points. And then from there, scroll down, find British Airways, link your account if you haven't already, and there you have it. And in my experience, the transfer is pretty instantaneous. Now, I think they say it might take 24 or 48 hours, but in my experience, it's been pretty like that. I hope that really crystallized for you how exactly you pull value from these points because you hear it all the time. Points, transfer, and then bing! Well, this is exactly how. Full disclaimer, there are definitely ways to optimize this even further, but we'll save that for another video. Next up, this card will also give you a $100 hotel experience credit if you book a hotel through their hotel collections program with a two night minimum. And lastly, this card comes with purchase protection, which is phenomenal on American Express cards, especially their upper tier cards like the gold, platinum, and the Centurion. This card will cover you for up to $10,000 for items that you purchase that are either stolen, damaged, or lost from 90 days of purchase. Quite literally, let's say you bought AirPods. You go out running, AirPod falls out of your ear. It's within 90 days of purchase. You purchase it with an American Express Gold, file the claim, bada bing, bada boom, money back right into your account, which again, I don't see anywhere else. Everyone else covers damage and everyone else covers stolen. Nobody covers lost. The next category is the annual fee. I'm going to be honest with you folks. This card does come with a hefty annual fee, $250. The platinum comes with a $695 annual fee and the Centurion slash black card comes with a $5,000 annual fee. So I guess relatively, it's not bad. But let's go on and talk a little bit, though, about the credits. Remember, though, $240 worth of total dining credits, $250 annual fee. $250 minus $240, you're paying $10 effectively for arguably one of the best food slash travel slash food and travel cards in the marketplace today. Folks, that's incredible. There's a sticker price. We're not paying that. Now the platinum, if you take all the credits, you're probably still paying one to $200. The Centurion card, honestly, if you're at that level, you don't really worry about the credits, but you're not getting that down that much from the $5,000 annual fee. It's funny, people ask me all the time why I love the card. Part of why I love the card is the fact that it's a bargain, like it's a deal. Similar to how we see bargains at Costco or Amazon Prime Day, eh, all right. Amazon Prime Day is questionable. But similar to how we see bargains there, credit cards have bargains as well. This card is one of those cards. The sticker price is $250. If you eat food and use those food credits, it becomes $10. Why would I not jump on the card? Because that 4X on grocery, 4X on restaurants only happens because there's a 250 annual fee, but the 240 of dining credits makes it a $10 annual fee. That's a sale, folks. I would jump on this card any given day, and that's why I have. Now, as for why I think this card is better than the Platinum or the Centurion, it's because it's accessible to the everyday person who is going to eat food every day. Listen, the Platinum, it is a great card, but you have to do some very specific things to pull out the credits. You have to be very, very travel focused. The Centurion, you're just rich. You spend a lot of money with Amex and you have that card. And so, yeah, those cards have bells and whistles, but what is actually valuable and what is actually practical for the everyday person? Buying food at grocery stores, buying food, eating out. 
practical. But you still get the benefit the Centurion and the Platinum have where you can transfer your points to transfer partners. And so you get the some of the bells and whistles here, but yet you're at a fraction of the cost and it's so much more utility for the everyday person. And that's why I am bullish that the American Express Gold is my number one American Express card of 2023. Now folks, if you're interested in supporting the channel in any way, feel free to check out my affiliate links down below. As always, if you have comments, questions, or any concerns, drop them down there as well. And I will catch you all next time. Peace.